good morning happy saturday um today obviously is the weekend and there's a few things that we need to do so we are headed to the outlets this morning or this afternoon we've already well it's already the afternoon because we sat in to watch the football which was a disaster because west ham were an absolute disgrace but there you go onwards and upwards so we're going off to the outlets because lewis needs to pick up some shirts for holiday and he did say something else but i can't remember also having an issue with my veneer which is an absolute nightmare because i refuse it well i don't want to go to the dentist here because it's going to cost me a small fortune so i need to find a way to like do a bit of home <laughs> repairing with my veneer so that's a joy hopefully i'm going to give that a try tonight and see if it actually works or does anything you know what these things are like they say mix baking soda and something and try that but i'll give it a go because obviously it's not there's not a problem with it as such but it's just the side of it's gone like brown which is really weird so i'm hoping that i can like get the stain off i don't know i've, I've literally have no, no idea about veneers so um i need to sort that out and it's just one of them things that's like because i haven't got a trip home i'm like stressing out about it and when i stress out about things i keep thinking about it so it may be a case if i can't sort it out i'm gonna have to book a trip home because it would be far cheaper to sort it out back in the UK than it would be to have it sorted here. And yeah, it's so bright, I can't even see. So we're off to the outlets so that Lewis can get some holiday bits. And I think that's our only plan for today because it's already, I think, 12. Because obviously we had to sit in and watch the football. So Lewis is in a good mood because Everton won. I'm in a terrible mood because West Ham are shocking. So we're on the way to the outlets and this is what actually used to be Wet n Wild. Look, it's gone up really quick. It got knocked down I think like a year and a half ago. And it's already gone up super quick, although this does look like a parking garage. Do you think? Because look, there's like stairs going up which looks like a parking garage. I don't know, but anyway, it's meant to be a hotel at some point, so it's gone up super quick. Amazing. Do you reckon it is? Look, there's the bit that goes upwards. Oh yeah, it must be, because look, here's the hotel. Ooh. There you go. Oh, that trip from that bit will have the pool in the middle. I didn't vlog at the shops because I know like shops can, especially at the outlets, I think they can be quite funny about like vlogging and stuff inside. So I didn't vlog inside, but I will show you what we bought. However, now we're going to do cocktail making masterclass with Hannah. So I'm currently making Lewis a Bloody Mary. So, you know, this is cocktail making with Hannah, which I'm not very good at, but I do try. So I've made, I'm going to have to bend down. So I've done the vodka and this bloody mary mix that we buy from abc but lewis likes a spicy one and i've put them all in here i don't know what this is going to be like oh my gosh it's absolutely crazy oh god it is so cold Oh, my hands going on. Oh, 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 right, okay. Oh my god, I'm making you a cocktail live on cam. Pop range to the lid off, and it's gone everywhere. Do you know how hard that is? It's literally freezing. It's giving me numb hands. Is it you? What? Oh gosh. Can you guys? Yes, you do, don't you? Put it in my dress. Hello. Oh, can I bet? Let's just show the guys the finished result. But I haven't actually. Normally I put jalapenos and olives and stuff, but I can't be bothered today. So this is the finished result. Lewis likes these, I don't, so I can't. 
taste, they smell so strong. Anyway, this is like poolside beverages that we're gonna have as it's six and it's a Saturday, so why not? Lewis, your beverage is ready. And I Before I start dinner and have my rant about what I posted on Twitter earlier about the pet insurance which requires a massive rant because we are not happy and yeah if anybody who watches this is actually I'm going to do the rant now because Lewis isn't here and if I rant about it whilst he's here he'll be angry so basically if anybody's watching this who is from America and has pets and has pet insurance if or you don't and you're going to get pet insurance or anything do not get your pet insurance with Pets Best because they are absolutely shocking, like disgraceful. I have never been so disappointed and angry and just like shocked an insurance company considering I know a lot about the insurance industry myself. I am like shocked at how bad they've been. So basically, they were saying that Nala was showing pre-existing signs of pancreatitis before we got the insurance and we've provided cut like we've provided stuff from the UK and I mean all the medical notes from when we lived at home and it's just insane I don't I'm gobsmacked because how a vet couldn't even tell us that she had pancreatitis yet this pet's best could tell us from behind a desk that our dog had pancreatitis is insane. I am so disappointed that we've been treated like this. I've rang, I've been fobbed off, I've been treated terribly. It's just been terrible. And considering for everyone that has been watching us for a while now, will know that this was happening in May and it's now nearly the end of August and we've appealed it twice now and they're still upholding the decision and it's, I'm just shocked like all I've got to say is if you're considering getting pet insurance and you're watching us and you live in America please 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 don't use pets best because if I like if I can use my platform this platform for any reason to help anybody else I want like to help people and if even one person if this even helps one person who may be insured with them now like please consider looking elsewhere because i've read so many reviews since this has happened to us about them and they have declined hundreds of claims for the same reason saying that these pets have had pre-existing conditions and we had the insurance and i took my dog to the vet for licking and they as everybody knows no one could find out what was wrong with her nobody what nobody knew what was wrong until the night when she we nearly lost her because they said she had severe pancreatitis and she couldn't breathe so how a, how an insurance adjuster can tell us that she had pancreatitis yet all the vets that we went to and we went to five different vets none of them knew and she doesn't have that now she's got other things so it was just out of the blue one night and they say it's because one of the medications that they actually gave her and it's in the medical notes and I've seen the medical notes and I've highlighted it and I've told them and they're still upholding the decision. The medical notes even say possible pancreatitis due to and the drug that they'd given her and they're still upholding it and we was on cover and I'm just baffled. I don't think, if we lived in the UK because I'm that's my area of like expert not expertise but that's the area that i i know about i'd argue this and i would know exactly how to argue it and where to go and who to contact because we aren't from here it's hard to like know what to do next so we've appealed it twice and they're still upholding it and i'm talking about it, it's getting me so angry because i still can't understand how they can decline a claim for something that they think they know about yet all these vets didn't know about because it's mind-boggling anyway if you're considering getting pet insurance or you have it and you live in america and you have pets best please please just look into your policy um like look into potentially insuring elsewhere like if you're happy with them that's cool but i just want to give a heads up to anybody who lives out here just they're not a very good company they treat you terribly they lie i 
I'm I'm so confused. You send paperwork off, they tell you you're going to hear like in seven days, but it takes seven days to get an email for them to say thank you for the paperwork. It will be in 30 days. I mean, it's been awful, and the amount of money that we've sent spent. The money's not actually an issue. Well, it is an issue because it's cost us a lot of money, but the fact of the way that we've been treated and the circumstances that we nearly lost our dog, you'd think that they'd have more compassion towards us. And then we chose to get pet insurance when we got here because we knew we all we had pet insurance when we were back in the UK. And they just don't they just don't care. And it's really, really sad that a massive company that even sends emails saying they care about all the pets they insure when actually in reality they don't but anyway i'm going to stop blabbering on because i don't want to like moan and groan but i just need to get that off my chest and like share that information with you guys however now i'm going to show you what lewis bought at the outlets so basically he didn't buy much to be fair so he went to havana's because he broke his flip-flop so he just bought a pair of these however typical lou these were the only pair that weren't in like on the sale in the sale on the sale in the sale so they were still like 24 dollars but all the others had 40 percent off but obviously lewis has to have these ones because they're what he had before and he broke them so yeah that was his first purchase and the second purchase i will say something about this because i didn't even realize basically he bought three things in ralph Lauren. so he got this like pink checkered shirt which the, all the shirts had 45 40%? 45? I can't even remember. So it was 74, but I need to get the receipt because it's super confusing. He then bought, oh goodness, another shirt, this white Ralph Lauren shirt. Again, that was 74 with 40% off. And then on the sale rack, which was amazing, he got this polo shirt, which is kind of like a coral colour. It's really, really nice, like really nice. And that was. $30 so that was on like the racks where they're like basically getting rid of stuff and it's a lot cheaper so he got these three items and then we got and all the well they all had discounts off anyway and then the lady at the till was amazing she was so so helpful so basically she asked us um, for our email address and obviously we're already signed up for the Ralph Lauren emails and she said oh have you had a coupon I was like I don't know. She went, we'll go to your emails and just type in Polo Ralph or something and get some and have a look in your emails. Anyway, an email come up from March and I mean we're in August we're in August now and it had a code and I said, Oh and I looked at the bottom, it said it expired in I think it was April. But I said to her, Oh, I think this is a code, but it's expired. She went, Oh no, 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 just like give it a try. I scanned it and we got 20% off, which is unbelievable. So we got all the discounts off anyway less i'm baffled right now to be honest less the discount like less than the 20 percent off so like the 20 percent off we got like another 30 dollars off so our bill originally was like 140 and then it was like 90 in total so for three things from ralph lauren 90 dollars is crazy so that lady at ralph lauren in um the international drive outlets thank you very much because you were amazing and you saved us a lot of money and lewis managed to get some nice bits for his holiday and it was really affordable so anyway i've been talking for nine minutes oh my gosh so anyway i'm now going to prepare dinner um tonight we're just having something really quick and simple because it's already gone eight so yeah we're gonna have fish and potato salad so i will prepare that show you what it's like and then we're gonna call it a night because i'm really tired That is it for today as you can see we're all ready for bed um we started to watch a film called walt before mickey on netflix i don't know if you've watched it i mean i don't know if you all have watched it but we've still got 40 minutes to go but it's a really good film so far and i highly recommend it but we are all like look we're all done in we are so so tired so thank you so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed it make sure you give it a big thumbs up and if you're not subscribed please make sure that you subscribe to our channel so that you can watch all our daily videos that we are trying to keep up with and we are doing however the signing off part is the hardest because it gets late 
and then we all end up like this and we forget to sign off so thank you so much for watching and we will see you tomorrow good night <laughs>